in Psalm 119 verse number 66 the Bible said the psalmist said teach me good judgment and teach me knowledge that should be one of your verses to memorize Psalm 119 verse number 66 I mean memorize it and speak it over your life every day when you wake up in the morning teach me judgment teach me knowledge as I live my life today Lord show me judgment show me knowledge teach me to discern to know things as I should really know them I like another one that says open my eyes that I may understand the wonderful truth of your law because many people look to truth and they are not able to understand it or discern it you see it but you cannot discern it he says they have ears but they don't hear they have eyes but they cannot see why is it important for you to be discerning because everything around your life has a spirit behind it can I say that again Yes, sir. I said, can I say that again? Yes, sir. Everything around your life has a spirit behind it. The anger in your life has a spirit behind it. The organization you work for has a spirit behind it. The man that is trying to marry you has a spirit behind him. Everything around you has a spirit behind it. Nations have spirits behind them. Communities have spirits behind them. And you must be a discerning man and woman to be able to discern what manner of spirit is this. The, uh, the, the beloved John, the beloved said, taste and discern every spirit that comes your way glory to God because not all of them are of God Amen. hallelujah Amen. so we should be acquainted with such prayers like teach me judgment teach me knowledge 119 verse number 125 in the NIV it says I am your servant give me discernment let's pray that prayer together come on it's Psalm 119 verse number 125 he says say after me I am your servant give me discernment when we begin to pick on the spirit of discernment we have become God's intelligence agent I pray that you will be renowned as a man and as a woman of discernment you will be that girl they talk about in the office whatever she says happens I mean why should you be working 30 people in an office and all of you live like you're in Las Vegas nobody knows anything you just come and it rains you just come and it shines you just come organization closes you just come everybody is sucked you just come even when you have a promotion nobody perceives it can I anoint you today as God's agent in that organization? You will be the single one that is able to perceive that in the next three months things are going bad. Let's begin to go this direction. Come on, hallelujah. I mean, you will tell the people in the next three months, office is shutting down and I'm out of here. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. And those that have no discernment will stay. Six months later, they will be sinking. Well, as the one that perceived the heart of God and the wisdom of God stays afloat. And I mean, Paul wakes up in the night and tells the people on the ship on the voyage to you to, 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 to Rome. He says, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, an angel of God stood by me last night and told me there is a wreck that is going to happen. We are losing everything on the ship, including the ship itself, but we will not lose a life. Can I tell you, if Paul was not on that ship, those guys were going to die, every one of them. Why do I know that? The Bible said that angel told him, I have given you the lives of the men on this boat because you must stand before Caesar. It doesn't matter whether you go by sea, by plane, you walk, you go from undercover, you go from underwater, you must stand before Caesar. So anybody that is with a man that must stand before Caesar, you cannot die if you're in my environment. If you pray in other times, pray a little bit. Glory, hallelujah. I mean, why should you live in the dark like everybody? The light shines and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Believe it upon yourself. Let God begin to manifest it around your life. Glory to God. In Ezra chapter number 8 and verse number 16 is a verse you probably have never read. It says, So I sent Eliaza and Ariel and Shemaiah and El Nathan and Jerib and El Nathan and Nathan and Zechariah and Meshulam who were senior leaders as well as for Joarib and El Nathan who were men of discernment. They are senior leaders, but they are men of discernment. 
I wonder what you'd be considered as, considering your life and where you are right now and why things are going the way they are. The Bible says, I will do nothing that I've not revealed to my prophets. He said, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. There must be a prophetic people that have an alignment of a discerning heart to be able to perceive what God is doing, what God will do, and what God is up to right now.